Hey everyone and welcome back to uh, something a little bit different on the Bicest Gamers this time. Um, today we're going to be running Fogoth uh, on the uh, Summoning Pit Strike at level 10. Um, the reason why we're doing this is for the elusive Hunter Helm that is a boss item drop. Um, like the Gauntlets, like the uh, for the Titan, for the Undying Mark, Shield Brother Gauntlet, sorry. Um, for the Hand Cannon, for the Assault, uh, the Scout Rifle. Uh, those sort of drops. This item is extremely rare, um, and I spent about two hours trying to trying to farm this. So um, I'm going to cut it up into nice little snippets at the end every time, um, so you guys can see how long it's taken. I haven't still got it yet, under two hours still. It's a problem because there's rumors going around saying it is the summoning pits. So I spent two hours farming, didn't find anything. Before recording, I did it for a, a couple of times. I found a legendary engram. And that was lucky. It was a hand engram, but it wasn't the engram. But it, so it does mean you can drop legendaries from the actual strike. Level 10. So it's there. It's just incredibly rare. Ultimate rare. Like just the highest, highest rarity you can have. Even above exotics, I think. Um, based on the fact you don't get that Vanguard streak because you're not doing a playlist. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what, what I was doing. I was running through them um, and I did a little bit of research on Destiny. I'll bring it up. Uh, it it actually says uh, Pride Fall before, uh, well, Pride Goeth before the Fall. Um, and the first thing that came to my head when I read that was obviously Pride and Goeth. Goeth sounds like Goth and Pride. Fogoth. So I put them two together and hopefully the rumors are true. Hopefully I'll find it one day. Uh, but for now I'll show you how long I spent uh, this first video. There will be more. Uh, hopefully I can find it so I can prove the rumor uh, to be true. Uh, that'd be awesome to do that. Um, I was really lucky with my drops from some of the bosses. From the Shield Brothers I got a 298 Gauntlet and a 297 Undying Mark for my Titan which was really awesome. I love the Gauntlets. Uh, I just want to get this. This is the last thing that's on my list from the bosses on the strikes, and it seems very elusive. So if you do have it, please, please let me know down below what you did, how you did it. Um, I did some looking around before as well, like you could try and go a different way, like the Black Spindle quest um, or the daily. Sorry, I didn't didn't get anywhere because all the doors were locked, but there were enemies spawning in that room, which gave me, which didn't make sense. It kind of threw me off a bit. I was thinking, why enemies spawning in this room? There's nothing to do in here. Why am I? Why can? Why can I come here? Do you know what I mean? Um, so it's just before Fogoth that I did that bit, and you turn right and you run down um, towards the um, Shrine of Oryx mission, I do believe, or the Circle of Bones. That's it. It's where you start, and then you run through to the <sighs> World's Grave, I do believe. That way, that's what I was trying to go towards, but I couldn't find any way to get through. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a couple of drops uh, real quick, and hopefully uh, you can see how much time I put into it. But uh, if you guys out there want to do it, do it. Let me know if you find anything. If you see anything differently, let me know, uh, and I'll put a video straight up. Obviously, I'll credit you in the video as well. If you ever use your channel, let me know, and I'll link you on that as well. Um, recently, right now, Xbox Live went down, so I only managed to get two hours worth of recording, which is a pain. And I'm now going to cut up into about a five minute video. <laughs> so it's going to take some time. Um, but hopefully this gets up soon. Uh, I hope to God this actually happens. Uh, this this helm actually drops. For the sake of just the time and the effort you put into it. Um, so it takes you long enough to get those ones you actually get from the strikes. I mean I'd probably, I've probably done about 100, 100 maybe 200 strikes over the time Taking King has come out. And I've only had hand cannon. Uh, scout rifle, gauntlets, undying mark, um, baron's ambition, and the auto rifle. They're the only ones I've had to have seven out of a possible ten, I do believe, I think it is, or eleven. So that took a long time to do. So this is going to take even longer. And the fact that I got a legendary from it shows me that you can get it. It's just the time and the effort you put into it and how lucky you can be. Um, as you'll notice when we're going through the gameplay, you'll see um, 
what do you call it, you'll see other 40s and 36s and above joining in and that again gives me a massive hint to asking why they're there. Do you know what I mean? Why are other 40s doing the same thing as I'm doing? Is it because it's there? We don't know yet. Hopefully I can solve that for you guys and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, stay tuned for another one like this. Uh, check out our Taken King playthrough of the story. Uh, me, Josh and our friend Greece are going through it and uh, hopefully I can get those up as soon as possible. Uh, I really want to get them up and uh, hopefully by then Xbox Live is up so we'll do some more strikes. Get that bloody helmet and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I've been Matt from Bite Side of Gamers and we'll see you next time.